Welcome to another episode of Breakout Creator with your host, Dominic Tana. Today, we have Grant Pachoco, a pioneer in podcasting, comedy genius, and master creator of characters like Toilet Tea Paper, a talking role of toilet paper with over 3 million followers on TikTok. We'll talk about Grant's journey in creating these characters, his success with Toilet Tea Paper, and his experience in the world of podcasting, comedy skits, and live shows. Stick around for a special appearance by Toilet Tea Paper at the end of the episode. Join us now to uncover the secrets of a breakout creator with... Grand Pachoco. Yeah, it's you got you got Toily there. Yeah, for, I got Toily yeah. for moral support. Dang, I left my Toily. I, you know, I got your. Uh, do you still have those? Oh, the plush. The plush. Uh, I don't. We don't have any more plushes. Um, Dang. We're we're working on a new one. Okay. It's not going to be a puppet though. It's just going to be a. They missed out. Like a, like a plush. Yeah. They missed out. People did. I still I, people dude. still message me going, "Where can I get one? My son loves you, <sighs> and I need to get one." And I was like, "I only have one myself." Really? Yeah. Did like not not just this one. You mean? Like no, I mean I have one version. of those pup. I have yeah. I actually have two because I have the prototype they sent, and then we had them make changes to it. It was it was an interesting process. Uh, the company Makeship is great that we worked with. Hmm. Um, it w- they <clears throat> went on sale during the um, uh, Black Lives Matter yeah. unrest. So I felt I can't promote this um, because this was not a time to be promoting. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was yeah. there was more serious things going on in the right. world. Um, but we still we met the minimum and we got them made and people loved them but uh, I think because I didn't promote it as much people were like wait you have these things how can I get them and like even today I still get uh, messages from people that's like my son loves toily can I get a plush and I was like especially doing the poop word of the day so many days in a row yeah like add a little poop sticker in there a poop word of the day sticker and you've got a new product (laughs) well we we are working on um, because Teespring now has they're doing plush wow and um, it's like a it was like it's like you're invited to try out this thing no through way. spring and so um it's a little different and it's been a little bit back and forth uh with them trying to get it just right and for some reason all contacts stopped during the holidays so i was like the last i heard from them was early october and then i was like are they Dang. are we still doing this Dang. like what are we doing yeah. and then it's almost perfect like it's almost just there there was just one little thing they have to tweak but then it, it always adds like two weeks when you want to tweak something so for spring for this uh website. yeah hopefully yeah. hopefully uh oh to come out in oh, spring come yes. out in spring yeah it's yeah. called spring right yeah, yeah but yeah now, <laughs> they now didn't think spring, that through yeah. But um, they did, you know, the Lucas, the, what is it? Lucas, the spider. No. It's like a YouTube series no, that this guy just started animating. Yeah. Uh, CGI. And his, I think his son did the voice. So it's like a little kid's voice doing the spider's voice. They're really cute. Hmm. And then he got a series, but they did a plush through spring. And I think that was one of their wow. first plush. And so I was like, okay, well, if they're working with that guy, yeah, then it should be okay. Put me down for one. Cause I want one. <laughs> okay. And, uh, Great. when you start promoting that, where can people get to sign up and well, it'll be all over like his, a- it'll be all over his. Uh, yeah. so his social media. Cool. So who's social media? Toily social media. Who's Toily? Oh, mine too. Yeah. This Wait, is who's Toily? Toily? Right What's Toily? <laughs> what? What is? What is that? Who is that? This is Toily. This little Toily here. Now, did you make him yourself? I did not. Uh, I have a friend named uh, Russ. Uh, Russ Walco. He has a company called Puppet Garage. Okay. And he is an incredible builder. He builds um, for the Jim Henson Company, for Nickelodeon, wow. for uh, right now. I think he's in New Orleans working on a new Jim Henson Company film. Film that's oh, coming yeah. out. Cool. Uh, which I'm not going to say the name of. Sure. I don't want to get in trouble. Sure, sure. Um, but it's a name that a lot of people will be very excited about. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's interesting because the story of where he came from mm-hmm. is crazy because he wasn't even a pu- he was a character, but not even a puppet for like two years or okay. three years. Okay. Um, and I was into puppets. <clears throat> excuse me, but he, um, I was working with Leslie Cora Rudolph, who's a puppeteer on Sesame Street. She puppeteers Abby Cadabby on. Sesame Street. And she has her own show and she said, I'm putting this show on in Austin. Can you fly out to Austin? And because I was helping her make like videos for the show, like little puppet videos. And so I said, yeah. And then I shared a room in Austin with this guy named John, who was her piano player. Uh, Still is, I guess, piano player, but um, at that point, you know. So anyway, so we're sharing a room in a hotel and we had we kind of met before, but and we get along just fine. Um, But we really just started goofing around, like just like he lives in Orlando. He's uh, he works at uh, a big theme park out there playing piano at a big theme park. Oh, which one? Uh, well, he plays a lot at the Hoopty Doo Review, which okay. is uh, okay. at one of the Walt Disney World resorts. I actually, might be going to Orlando. Like, I'm going to Orlando tomorrow. So oh, really? Yeah, 
So. Okay, yeah. Well, he's yeah, he's out there playing at the the Hoopty Doo Review. Okay. And um, at that period of time, I was so into sticking googly eyes on everything. <laughs> and uh, so there was an extra roll of toilet paper in the hotel room we were sharing. So I stuck googly eyes on it, and then I stuck it on his pillow, like while he was gone yeah. during the day. And then when he came back, he was like, "Why is this on my pillow?" And he would like throw it across the room, and I'd be like, "John, why don't you like me? I just want to be your friend," you know. And um, and he would be like, oh, totally, you know, like whatever, you know. So then after that, he went back to Orlando. I went to Southern California and there was an app called Voxer. Uh, I mean, it's still around, but it's just like a walkie. Like you can leave like messages for each other. OK. And there's a million other apps that do it. But the, we just were using this app. And um, I would leave him long messages <laughs> as Toily saying what Toily was doing in Hollywood. <laughs> like, oh, I booked a TV show. I'm going to do this thing, you know, and uh, like all his adventures in, in Hollywood. And. Um, then he had done a ton of shows at the Orlando Fringe Festival. He had done like 16 shows at the Orlando Fringe Festival. And he was like, we should do this as a show. Like, we should do this character. And this was literally like two years later. Hmm. And I was like, okay. And then we just took those stories that were from the Voxers, because we still had recordings of them, and wrote it out into a, oh, wow. a show. Wow. And then had the first puppet build. This is the second Toily. Huh. Um, uh, the, 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 what happened to the first one? He's still he's still around. He's like a backup toy. Did they ever meet? Uh, uh. <laughs> they they've seen each other. Okay. They pass in the in the sack. What do they think of um, each other? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I can't put both of them on at the same no. time. That'd be crazy. But um, so anyway, so we did we did show us out there. We did a run of shows at the Orlando Fringe. We did we came out here and did the Hollywood Fringe Festival. Okay. Um, and really, it wasn't. I think because uh, Vine was Vine still going? Because I think I made a Vine account for him, and um, but he didn't really do that well on Vine. I had another character. I I was one of the first, if not the first, puppet on Vine because wow. like I downloaded Vine the day it came out. Wow. And then I had this little dog character, and uh, when Vine was done. He he had like 13,000 followers, which wow. back then was like, oh, yeah. wow, this is amazing that he has this many followers. Yeah. Um, and so I just kind of got him on at the end, you know, like when Vine was almost done. Yeah. Um, but I didn't really do much because to me it was a live show thing. It wasn't like I would do little videos for him, but it wasn't like this. Oh, let's create content for the Internet. It was it was just I was kind of doing that with the other character. Right. You know, not him. How did you hear about Vine so quickly so early? How'd you get on that? I, uh, I'm an early adopter in some things. Yeah. So like, um, I started podcasting in 2004. Wow. So I did my first po podcast in 2004, in November, um, put out my first episode. So it was just, it was just like hearing things through kind of tech geek circles. Hmm. Um, and someone was like, oh, this new thing through Twitter is fine, you know? And, uh, and I was on Twitter a pretty regular, I mean, I'm still on Twitter, but I uh, was on Twitter pretty regularly and, and yeah. I must have seen it through there. Like, you know, hey, we got this new thing called Vine. I was like, oh, what's this? I'll do a puppet on it. Okay, great. Cause I was into puppets. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was this other character, this dog character. That uh, that I was focused on doing that, not him. Yeah. So, um, but what was great was when we did the show. Even though there wasn't a puppet, he had a whole personality. Mm -hmm. Like he was, he was uh, like we worked on the, you know, unknowingly worked on the character for two years, and then uh, he became, you know, that he was material. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, materialized or you know, visualized as as the puppet. So, how did he get? Uh, I mean, how, was he always that size, or did you make him bigger? He's a little bigger for the stage because mm. he was built for um for a live theater setting uh and some of the original mock-ups that um that russ built is he is more like toilet paper roll size yeah so he would be like this little tiny puppet hmm. um but uh yeah when people see him they go like whoa he's bigger than i thought he was yeah gonna be, yeah you know? he looks so so, <laughs> so much bigger yeah yeah um so so yeah but he was he was built for the stage just because he was going to be on stage so you need him a little bit bigger because people are seeing it live but they're further away Way. Well, you've been doing puppetry for quite some time now. Um, how did you originally like? Have you always been doing puppetry? Did you since you were? Yeah, not doing? professionally. Yeah. I mean, I've always been into it. Like, even I have pictures of myself as a little kid with puppets. It was never something like I'm going to do this when I grow up. I yeah. just liked it, and I was always like a ham, like a performer. Like I was always like, okay, I can perform, and I like. Did you go to school for it? I did. I went to Cal State Long Beach, hmm. and I have a degree in acting and directing. Okay. Um, so not puppetry, but um, but even in acting. college yeah, yeah. well because that's puppetry is acting you're just acting through your hand right right you know? um and uh I, I originally went to cal state long beach because i wanted to do special effects makeup 
Like I really, that's hmm. that really like clicked with me, and that's what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, anyway, so while I was there, I was studying, and the the makeup program um uh, kind of fell apart while I was there. And so you could still get a degree, but like you weren't being taught by uh, the guy who had been taught. He passed away the year before I got there. Hmm. So like he was the makeup department. So I was like, well, I've I've been in high school shows and uh, you know community theater stuff. I'll just stay in the theater department and do acting. Hmm. Um, but then, uh, funnily enough, one of the um, one of the uh, what do you call it? Uh, makeup instructors who was still there brought in a puppet one day, and like I fell in love with it because it was like the first kind of professional puppet I'd seen, not mm. just like oh you go to a store or a bookstore or whatever, and there's little puppets. You know, yeah. this was like the first professional one I've ever seen, and she I was so grateful she let me borrow it for like three weeks no way and i just i loved it and i it really clicked with me but it's still even then even in college it wasn't like this is something i can do right. you know it was like i'm gonna be a performer you know um okay were you working at the time like how were you making a, a living i'm sorry were you you were still in high school i was still uh, in college for, for but college? i did i worked at disneyland okay. i worked on i was a jungle cruise uh okay skipper, <laughs> uh telling cool. those, those corny jokes yeah. and uh how long did you do that for just two years okay just two years yeah it was like um my sophomore and junior year yeah of, of just uh, trying to get a timeline i like to yeah, yeah timelines yeah. and you know think it through so you're out of college you're working at jungle cruise and no i was in college okay. when i was working on the jungle cruise okay. and then after i graduated uh, uh graduated college i moved back home just for my parents are i grew up near san francisco okay um as i'm pointing as if it's yeah that it's, way. it's but north. it is because the yeah, ocean is there so yeah yeah uh, you're right whatever it's that uh, <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so I I um, I moved back home and I was I had a degree in theater, so I was like headshots, resumes, but there's not a lot of stuff in San Francisco sure, to do yeah, that. You yeah. know, it's like down here. Yeah. But what I started doing was um, I've always been a fan of like Weird Al and oh, totally. Doctor I mean, Demento. I, bro, I got his I got <laughs> Hawaiian shirt on. Hawaiian yeah. shirt on. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like uh, Doctor Demento and funny songs. So I just wanted to start writing my own funny songs, and then I went out and started performing them. Hmm. So I would uh, just go to open mics in San Francisco and sing my goofy, right, 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 right. dumb songs. Were you, were you doing puppetry at that time, though? No, no, okay. there was no puppets. Did, uh, did you play piano or guitar? I had a guitar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I do have and, a guitar over there. Uh, uh, later. It's been <laughs> All a right. while. All right. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, if you look up throwing toasters, you can okay. hear, hear my songs. Throwing toasters. Um, and they're all pretty goofy. Cool. But uh, because I'm always kind of somebody who's like, I want to do it now. I don't want to wait for people's permission. Yeah. And with acting, with submitting headshots, it's like, please, can I be in your show? Please yeah. let me. And I've always just been like, I want to put on a show. Like, right. I'm not going to wait for this. Totally. You know? And um, so I just was like, oh, if I go do comedy, I can just go do comedy. You know, like yeah. there's open mics. Sure. I can just go perform. Why not? Know? Yeah. And um, so that's what it became. And I lived at home for, I think, like just a year. Hmm. And then I moved back to down here um maybe a year almost two years and i moved back down here to uh southern california cool and started doing comedy out here and all that kind of stuff and started substitute teaching because that was my day job doing that okay um and then uh, uh this friend of mine a guy actually i met working at disneyland um uh in this was early 2004 uh we had we had developed all these characters to do our own show like um a public access show back when public access cable was a thing like we're hmm. Cable channels had cable stations had to have a channel dedicated to, um, you know, the uh, dedicated to letting people put on in the community, put on their own shows. So we were going to do a kid show with puppets um, for that. No way. Thing. That's cool. Yeah. But it was right before like Final Cut Pro. Oh, so we had to pay to use their editing machine. Oh, wow. And it was like fifty dollars uh, an hour. Wow. And um, we made like one and a half episodes of this show. And we just thought like, hmm. oh, if we get this show on, it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. People are, you know, like, of course, some company, some station is going to pick us up, Yeah, you know? And, um, you know, I didn't really have a ton of money. Uh, this other guy, Doug, he was like footing the bill for all these editing episodes. And mm. I didn't understand how the editing worked. Right. And it was just really, it was a product of right before that time where editing came home to your home computer. Mm. I mean, they had kind of it before, but yeah. you know, where it was so easy. Um, and so a that was like, 
uh, 99 or 2000, yep. right around there. Yep. And then 2004, we still had all these characters. And I was like, what if we did like an old time radio show and just put it out on the internet? And it's okay. just it's just the characters <laughs> doing all the voice. You know, we're just doing all these different voices. Right. And at the time, uh, this is a different guy, but he also lived in Orlando. Yeah. Um, and so I would write these scripts, send it to him. He would record his lines on like a Radio Shack microphone into a thing, <laughs> send them to me. I would use GarageBand because it had just come out to edit everything and put it all together. And that was in like April of 2004. And we did like 24 episodes. We do one episode a week. Right. And then that's in, what I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then in November of, of 2004, um, I read about podcasting or October of 2004. I read about podcasting. Cool. And I was like, this is it. Yeah. Like, this is how we get this out to mm. people. And so back then, like you had to hand code your RSS feed. Wow. Like you had to like, you download somebody else's and change all their info and then put your info in. And oh, okay. every time you released an episode, you had to go into the code and put the new episode in there. Dang. If you had one mark out of place, then yeah. it wouldn't work. Um, hmm. But literally, like, I remember the days when there was like maybe 300 podcasts. Wow. <laughs> and we all knew each other. Wow. And we were really lucky because we were the only one for kids. Wow. Like, all the whole big thing of podcasting is we could say whatever the F we yeah, want. Yeah, this yeah. is no rules. That's right. You know, and, um, but we were doing it for kids. Yeah. And so at the height of our podcast, uh, we were getting like 80,000 downloads. No way. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then, you know, like nowadays you hear like, oh, That's my favorite murder. No, still no, like that's, a ton. That's, that's still so much yeah 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 but it, for back then it was like i keep kicking that sorry uh okay. back then it was like oh my gosh this is like this is our thing and we actually we did get a development deal to uh or, or you know like we got sense. we got looked at by yeah by um com- yeah. Like, there was a channel called the hub okay and it came down to uh what they always told us was it came down to us and the aquabats and they went with the aquabats and um so it's like oh that's great the aquabats are fantastic well i mean we would have loved to do a show yeah um, um, what was the show called back then? The show was called The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Hmm. And it was really goofy. So, sorry, Toily wasn't even out still. No, nope. <sighs> no, okay. no Toily. Okay. No, um, we did have puppets made. Russ built some puppets of the characters. And we started towards the end. We started getting into video. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, it just kind of the uh, once we got like the the people who were pitching us to television networks, uh, kind of the cracks in the relationship of me and the other guy started forming. Hmm. And, um, you know, everybody has their, their own side of the story. So sure, I'm not going to, sure. I'm not going to say what it is. It's just, we were, we just were like, yeah, we can't work together. Sure. No worries. <laughs> so you, you've, you're starting your podcast. Are you, you're out of a podcast 2004? What, what happens next? Well, we started in 2004 and that went to, I think 2012 was when we did our wow. last episode. We did like eight seasons. Wow. And over 200 episodes. Wow. Okay. Um, and they're all still out there. You can all, um, and the other thing is I keep re-podcasting them. Yeah. So I just like every week I, an old episode goes out and they get like 5,000 downloads, wow. you know? So it's, it's yeah. people are, and what I found out about kids is uh, every three years you get a whole new group of kids who yeah. find your show. Interesting. And, and so that's why like for PBS shows like Mr. Rogers or not Mr. Rogers, but for like other PBS shows, they'll only make a certain number because they know that they can start rerunning them from the beginning after three years. Why, why and you... it's a whole new group of kids. It's a whole new because the kids age out of you yeah. know, watching Arthur or whatever, you know, their whatever mm. TV show. Got it. Um, you know, Bluey, I know, is super popular now, they're, but he's popular. So they'll probably make a ton of those. But yeah. um, but anyway, um, but during that time in 2006, um, I had been doing a little bit of puppets stuff and i went to the jim henson company and i said you guys need a podcast and i am just the guy to produce that podcast and they were like what is this because even then in 2006 it was still like what is this what's a yeah, podcast sure and uh i was like no you, you guys need a podcast and so they they were like okay and so for i think from 2006 to around 2012 i ran their podcast wow. i produced their podcast wow. yeah that's amazing so um i love and that's the other thing is uh i mean in relation to the jim henson company i asked for permission but you don't have to ask for permit that's why i love podcasting you know what i mean and then and creating content for the internet is you all it takes you know like there's a little equipment that you have to get um you know a uh, a phone a phone i mean yeah yeah right now a phone really right yeah Yeah. and you could do you could do everything on that but um 
you know, it's it's I just love not having to wait to ask for permission. It's totally. just like, hey, I got this idea for this show. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I love that about you also. It's like that you're like a true entrepreneur, man. You're, you're not giving up and you're <laughs> lasting for years and years pursuing your passion, man. Yeah, and making no money. So it's uh, <laughs> fantastic. Well, I mean, you could you give a lot of people hope also to follow their passion. And dream. Well, yeah, no, no. It's I I and, and to show them that you could make it here in Hollywood, here in L.A. You know? Well, and I think, you know, like. Like, I have worked in television. I have worked in films doing puppetry stuff. But it's like, and that's fine and it's fun and I love doing it and yeah. I get along with everybody and we have a great time. But it's like, my favorite thing is like doing my own stuff. Hmm. And it's like, people go, oh, what are your hobbies? And it's like, nine times out of 10, I'm making videos with him yeah. or I'm I'm writing a script for something else or whatever. It's like, that's my fun right. is creating those things. Of course. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And and here we are. I love doing this. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. I love, yeah. like, this is like a big chunk of my day. Um, and I've been doing them. I've done like 15 episodes, this, or 16 episodes this month. Uh, it's only what January 24th. So yeah, yeah. And that's that's the other thing I learned early on, and that's why I think we did so well early in podcasting. Was before we put out our first episode, we had 24 episodes. Oh wow! So dang, you're you know way I mean? ahead. Well, no, but yeah. what I mean is like like you. It's like you know what you I'm like, on episode five. I posted just so posted six, right. Yeah. So you but you have all this backlog, yeah. and so it's like if a week gets rough where you can't film uh, one. I'm I'm actually traveling for the next two weeks. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. So you have you have enough that can go out, yeah. you know. Yep. And that really saved us in the beginning because we had all this the people were finding our show and mm. they just kept coming out. And we weren't under this press. Yeah, like we were yeah. still making more. You know, we were on the third season when people were just hearing the first season. Did you come up with that idea or did you hear it somewhere? That as far as that like posting one a week? Was that your own strategy or had you that was just kind of our own way? our own strategy. A lot of people give up, you know, that they fail and they time goes on and yeah. A lot of people when they ask me it's not just in podcasting it's not just in this right yeah it's for posting on social media in general when when people ask me like oh what's your what's your advice for thing and i go have five episodes ready before you post your first one right and it just saves you because you're gonna get on 24 or 24 or 24 (laughs) yeah but it's like you're gonna get on a treadmill yeah uh where you have to keep putting out content yep Uh, i mean i'm sure we'll talk about it but it's like the poop word of the day it's like i will film 20 of those in one session Mm. and then send them to my editor and then it's like okay we're, we're staying ahead. You know, like this week, I probably have to film more because, um, uh, you know, it's you like to have a 24th, a, a batch of like 10 or so still kind of in the works at any given time, ready to go. Yeah. 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 So, in case, in case I do, because also being a puppeteer is a lot like being an actor. It's like I could get a job at the end of this week that's going to keep me busy for two weeks. Yeah. And so I need to have these done, mm-hmm. um, just in case that happens. Ooh, you know, see, not okay, going I'm doing, Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's good. Okay. So that's, that's the right way to do it. That's what I, th- I, yeah. I, I mean, if you're doing a, a if you're doing like a news show, you can yeah. because you have to report on what's happening that day. You know, even if it's like, oh, you're doing a tech show about what new tech is that that changes all the time. So right. you can't, you know, record the episode for three weeks ago yeah. or three weeks in the future today, right. you know, because something big may happen. But if you're doing like a entertainment or whatever type of thing, then, yeah, you can. So you worked on with Jim Henson on their podcast. How what happened after that? Um, Yeah, they just. Uh, uh, um, the, the we did, man, over a hundred episodes. We did audio episodes and video episodes. Yeah, and um, then it was just time to move on to other things. And um, I was getting a little busier with other stuff. And uh, I have still always kind of put out my own podcasts. Um, yeah. uh, and usually they're they're kind of geared towards kids. Um, and then what I started doing was to after the the Henson podcast ended, uh, I started kind of working on and developing a podcast I do that I still do today called Under the Puppet where I interview puppeteers, much like this. No way! Yeah, so I'm interviewing puppeteers. That. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Uh, and so the we just recorded the 80th episode no, of that. amazing! I'm looking yeah. up to you now. <laughs> <laughs> You're an inspiration. So, yeah, cool. it's... it's uh, and, and see, the other thing, the other piece of advice I give hmm. is uh, pick your release schedule. And it can be any... It can be... It picked itself. I started posting on, fe- on like, January... Uh, whatever, the December... What, it was a Friday at right. 1 p.m., and I'm yeah. like, okay, I have that's a... That's what it is. Yeah. So but what, what I, is. but I, what also what I mean is, like, under the puppet, I only put out one episode a month. 
month. But everybody oh. knows that it's only one episode a month. Yeah. And they're longer episodes. They're like, you know, an hour long discussion with, yeah. the, with the puppeteer. But I told everybody from the beginning, it's like, this is going to be once a month. Yeah. And that's when you're going to get. And maybe mid-month there might be, if I think of something fun to put in there, there may be something fun in the feed. But it's just going to be once a month. And that's the other thing, too, is um, when, you know, I, I, I'm on a Reddit on, uh, a subreddit on Reddit about podcasting. And people are like, I'm just starting out. What should I do? And I always say, if you can, make multiple episodes before you put out your first one. Mm -hmm. And whatever your release schedule is, it can be once a month. It could be daily. It could be every two weeks. Whatever it is, pick it and stick to it. Because that's how you build an audience is everybody know. And we found that out in Dr. Floyd. The first, like, because we would put them out on Sundays. The first Sunday where, like, we had caught up and I was frantically editing an episode and it came out on a Monday. That Sunday evening, we were people like, where's the new episode? Yeah. Where's the new episode? Yeah. And it's like, it's coming. (laughs) You know, but it's like, um, whatever your schedule, you know, if I miss a, a, a first day of the month without under the puppet, I know I'll get a message going, Hey, where's, yeah. where's the new episode? Yeah. You know? Wow. So how did you go from working at Jim Henson's podcast to doing like, what happened after that? Well, um, where do you go from there? When I was 2023, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, well, the, um, this was uh, 2006 or so. Um, but Leslie Carrara, who I mentioned before, mm. okay. um, uh, the Jim Ken- Jim Henson Company has a show called Puppet Up Uncensored, hmm. and it is a live stage show. Uh, and it's like whose line is it anyway? But with puppets, no and it's live on way. stage. I would love to go to that. Yeah. Oh well, uh, I don't know when this is coming out, but yeah, uh, February seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, and twentieth. I think this comes out in like early April or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. it was a great show. Yeah. It was so good. <laughs> I was so funny. No. February twenty second. Uh, uh, February seventeenth through. It's President's I, Day weekend. I think seventeenth, eighteenth. I think I can do it. So I'll let you guys know how it is. And it's yeah. on the it's on the Henson lot. Okay. It's 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 really great. It's a lot of fun. Um but she Leslie was in that show and she knew that I did comedy. Remember I was I was still doing my funny songs and going around and and yeah. even down here in Southern California performing. Yeah. And then she said um can you, you know, like I'm going to recommend you for this to the director hmm. to join this kind of troupe of performers. And so even though I had dabbled in puppetry and I kind of, you know, like certain aspects of it came easy to me, not everything, but um like the lip sync is very important. And uh That's, anyway. That was funny you did it exactly like yeah, while the you were lip talking. Sync is it's very important. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's cool. So so she recommended me for for that. And um, and that's when I started getting my professional training hmm. from the Jim Henson company, you mm-hmm. know, like because um, puppeteers, we use uh, monitors um, when we perform so that, um, you know, like if we're working on a TV and film, we can see what the character is doing in yeah. the scene. Yeah. So uh, that is like a whole crazy thing to uh, to start doing. But are they bigger monitors than this? Sometimes we use this size. It's, okay. Yeah. No, this is these are. These Should are I great. get bigger yeah. ones? Is what I'm. Asking. No, no, no. This no. is this will be this is okay. this is great. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes you're like you know like even the person inside a big bird, uh, they have their hand up like this, and then one hand using another one, and they have like a little monitor like that strapped wow. right here, so they can look down and see what the what big bird is That's doing. Awesome. You know. <laughs> yeah. The scene. So. That's cool. Um. But yeah, and then uh, I just started getting into puppetry and and um doing this puppet up show and the puppet up show went to Australia, went to Toronto. We did a thing at Vegas at the Venetian for a couple months. And then, um, the past couple of years we've been doing runs at Knott's Berry farm. Are you, are you doing all these by yourself or did you have a manager or something like booking you or? Yeah. I mean, I have a puppetry agent, Okay, but, um, but who helps me with like the television and film stuff. Yeah. Um, but, uh, for the most part it's, uh, you know, it's, you're like an actor, you know, so you're, you're kind of at they're promoting yourself and um but every once in a while and in the puppetry world is very small so like everybody knows each other mm. and all the other puppeteers you know and a lot of times for puppetry gigs the people since the puppetry community is so small the producers will be like oh we want to get this person this person this person this person and uh, so there won't necessarily be auditions um but every once in a while there's auditions so yeah cool. uh, that's why i just again working on my own stuff yeah. you know what i mean like just keeping busy with my own thing. were you doing anything else by all like on your own um, at that time, well, I think that dog character, uh, like Uncle Interloper, that's that's his name. Um, and uh, I really started to want to make, I wanted to make YouTube videos with him. And I um, kind of had this thing in my head where it was like, you know, those old cartoon shows, like from way back, early days of television, where it's like, okay, kids, we're gonna watch another cartoon. Here's Bugs Bunny, you know. Sure. And those little hosted cartoon shows. So I really wanted to him to be like the host, and then use public domain cartoons that he would throw to and um, 
and then I got the idea. My friend Mike Hollingsworth um, is huge animation guy. I started doing comedy with him in San Francisco mm. way back in the in the day. But like he was the animation director on BoJack Horseman, and um, he's just done tons of stuff. He's he um, so anyway. Uh, I I went to him and I said because I well I knew him and I knew that he had made like these kind of cartoons on his own. You know, to try and get jobs, he would make his own cartoons. Yeah. And so I was like, do like all animators kind of make their own cartoons? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, well, instead of using public domain cartoons, I'm going to reach out to young animators who have, you know, as like a showcase and just be like, you know, I can't license this, but we'll get it out there too. And I'll work on promoting your cartoon that you already have on YouTube. Um, you know, we'll just repackage it in this format. And so I did maybe 10 episodes of that. Um, cool. And uh, but that was also when that was started was right around the time, like this whole thing of doing live shows with Toily started to started going on. So, right. Um, what, what year is that right now? What where are we at? Oof. Uh, well, I met John, I think, like in the guy who who was in the hotel room yeah. when I was putting googly eyes on things. Yeah. I think that was like 2012, I think. OK, so I'm thinking back. But Instagram is almost happening. Yeah, but I don't think I think Vine was still around. So I was doing Vine so things Vine with him. Happened, yep. And then um, like 2015 was when we started doing live shows okay. with Toily. So we were starting doing these live shows and I was doing some social media stuff. I think I made like a Facebook page for him and hmm. but it, it wasn't like this thing. And then um, there's a comedy club in Burbank uh, called Flappers and uh, they have a kid's show every Saturday. And so I would go and sometimes just play goofy kids songs for the kids. And there was this other performer who was on there and um, her name was uh, her username. Her name is Megan, but her username is Megan Makes Bubbles. And so we just ch and her whole thing is like she does like she blows bubbles with her hand and she does the big giant bubble that she's in the middle of oh, and cool. smoke bubbles yeah. and everything. And um, so we I had never met her. We just started chatting and we followed each other on Instagram. Hmm. And then she posted this thing where it was like her follower counts. And she was like, oh, on Instagram, I have this much. And da -da -da -da. And, yeah. and then it said TikTok. And then it said uh, like 10,000. or I don't know. I, it was like a big number. Like it was like to me, it was like, holy cow, that's amazing. I go, what is TikTok? I have no idea what this is. And this was the first or second weekend of January of 2019. Okay. Right. And so I was like, I got to find that. And it turns out I had already downloaded it on my phone. Yeah. Um, and I had already created an account for him. Yeah. And it must have been as musically. Yes. And then it changed to TikTok. And I just didn't know. I just didn't do anything with this. Right. And um, so I kind of like started poking around and I followed her, of course, <laughs> but I just started poking around and I'm trying to figure out what this was. And then I could see that you you could go live. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's what I wanted. Like that's live always in intrigues me. Yeah. Like that's my that's my thing. Yeah. You know, that's why I love doing this puppet up show because it's live you know hmm. and so i was like oh okay how, i need a thousand followers okay <laughs> Well, I'm just going to start posting like goofy videos. Yeah. And um, so I did like that. That was a Saturday. I started posting Saturday night uh, and I posted like three or four videos. By Sunday midday, I had a thousand followers. Nice. And uh, so I could go live. Right. And so I just went live immediately and I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, hey, everybody. You know? Yeah. And I was like, oh, what? And that's like before gifts, before anything else. It was, uh, I guess there were gifts back then, but it was just like, okay, I, I got to go live. And so then I really started looking and trying to figure out what TikTok was. I would stay on it so long I would get headaches yeah. and my wife would be like, you got to put it down. Yep, yep, yep. You, <laughs> you yep. got to put it down. And I was like, that. oh, I got to figure out what this is. Yep. And then just doing all those goofy, you know, this is early 2019, but like the, can I have a peppermint? And, sure. <laughs> and so my thing became, and this is what I tell people about TikTok, is if you're scrolling and you see three people use the same sound or do the same dance or do the same whatever, some people say two, I say three. But if you see three people doing that, you do, your version of it yeah and so i just wanted to be like i didn't want to do their version i wanted to do like his spin on their version so like that can i have a peppermint you yeah. can't have a pepper yeah, yeah yeah you know uh so i just i downloaded the sound and i edited it and so it was like can i have a peppermint and he goes no no you can't you're, it's, you're gonna spit it out it's too spicy remember we go through this every time yeah but i did it in that way where people could duet it and so they could sing the first line and then get all sad when toily yells at them <laughs> <laughs> and like that's how I just loved doing that kind of thing where yeah. it was um, I would create videos so people could duet them. So like we would have a thing where like Toily totally just be sitting there and then my wife would reach her hand in to like like she's going to try and steal a sheet of paper off of him. <laughs> OK. And then he go, get out of here. Get 
get out of here. <laughs> but then, and people to this day still do at that video. Well, they wow. will sit there and they will go like this. So it's like their hand is coming in to, right, right. to you know. I lose it on that side. I got to oh, do okay. this side. Well, anyway. Yeah. yeah, anyway. So it's like they're reaching in to 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 do the thing. Yeah. And it's like that video, those early videos, like still people do at them. Wow. Because it was all using the, the duet, you know, like making them involved. Yeah. You know, and like that, what was that? Um, you look so amazing in that sundress. You remember that one? Like it was this song about, um, no. anyway, it was like this dumb song. Maybe. And it was like, yeah. you look so amazing in this sundress. I wonder what you look like when you undress. Oh no. And like everyone was going like, oh, you know, like that's yeah. when they were using that sound, they were going this, but Toily's like, okay. And then he <laughs> ran off. And then I have a Toily that's just the two. <laughs> and so he came back on and there's like, you know, stripper music. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And then my wife has a dollar bill and she reaches in like with the dollar. And, but people duetted that, you wow, know, that's amazing. Um, and then that one got taken down because the music I used oh, as the stripper music damn. was not, uh, yeah. you know, was not licensed. Hmm. But anyway, and then it just within a year by October that year, I had a million. Wait, before we go, before we go yeah. off into that. So you had a, did you have a schedule posting or going live in the, in the beginning? Because I found you in, in that time, January or February. Yeah. In 2009, uh, 19. I think then I just went live as much as I could because I liked the idea and I was still figuring it out. It must have actually been 2000. Uh, it was February in 2019 because I was in Las Vegas. So yeah, I remember yeah. watching your, your live stream and be like, what? <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah, what is this? Why is this marshmallow? <laughs> yeah, marshmallow. Why is this marshmallow I'm doing this? Um, oh, he's a toilet paper. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, I live is my thing. And yeah. even to this day, it's like I still post every day and, you know, the poop word of the day and all that kind of stuff. But it's like I go live at least once at least twice a week hmm. um but now i'm trying to figure out all these different platforms and now you can anyway we can get into that yeah, but yeah but just um and i have more of a schedule because originally in 2019 my goal was like tiktok was like this fun thing yeah but my goal was to get my youtube to get his youtube channel monetized <sighs> and in, good. that's a good goal <laughs> in and in early 2019 like i wrote it down because i was taking this class about like going after your goals it's called the path yep and it was like going after your goals and and breaking everything down into smaller goals and it's like what steps can i do this week to get mm. me to there at the end of the year you know okay. and um so one of the things i wrote down was toily's youtube channel monetized mm. that's what i want and um so i just started like that was my focus and it was like i'm going to do a live stream on youtube i'm going to put out at least one video a week if not two videos yeah and so that was my goal but then when tiktok like took off and it was all of a sudden he was like at twenty thousand or yeah. whatever right and it's like i put my YouTube link in the profile. It's like that's how I got to the a thousand subscribers right in like no time. Then I had to hit the hourly thing <laughs> because yeah. like in no time I got I did the anyway. Mm -hmm. But that was my goal. But then like by October when I hit a million with with him, I you know on TikTok, I was like, okay, maybe I got to focus here now. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been focusing here on the YouTube and that's good, but maybe I got to focus here. How did you wait? So you built your your YouTube up to a thousand. Did you get monetized by that October? I was monetized, I think, by yeah October November. Okay. I was so I got because I got the view count up yeah. or the the hours watched up. Right, I'm I'm in that problem right now. I have my my followers up, but no, not enough uh, hours. Yeah, so. yeah. So, but it's then I just I learned this trick. It's like oh, I got to do longer videos because that's more watch time. Yeah, talk to me about that. How did you get people to go from your TikTok to YouTube, or how did you build that following? You know what I did, and like now you would probably get kicked off of TikTok to huh. doing it. But Toily was like, um, anybody who subscribes to me uh during this thing i will go back and i'll subscribe to you oh yeah on okay. on youtube on youtube yeah i did that with tiktok for yeah i didn't no yeah i didn't do that on tiktok i would just i would do that on because i had met with somebody about developing him into a show hmm. like a tv show wow. type thing and um i had met with her and she goes your tiktok numbers are amazing but your instagram is right, way right, low right. All and your youtube other is platforms low. yeah yeah you yeah. looked at tiktok was so low and if you had a larger following on youtube or Instagram, that was oh yeah, those people yeah. really mattered. Yeah. yeah. So um, so uh, for YouTube and Instagram, I'd be like anybody who follows me during sure during this live stream, I will follow you back. Right. And and I just always looked at it as like, and every once in a while, I would look at the subscription feed and like a few videos or maybe comment on something. So they'd sure. be like, wow, Toily commented on my mm -hmm. thing. This is probably if they're watching this, they're like, what? <laughs> um, but I also it's like I have my own personal account, so I'm not seeing because I didn't feel like bad following everybody because. 
because right. it's like I have my own personal account right, right. where I can interact with these Makes things. Makes sense. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know if that's the best strategy to, I mean, it, it, it worked because it, it, it got me to those benchmarks, but like in the long run, I don't know if it's necessarily the best strategy. I didn't check your uh, YouTube following. What are you at on YouTube I think right 22.7. Yeah, I'm, I'm about the same, but I'm not monetized. Yeah. 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 So it's, um, yeah, YouTube has become hard. Um, yeah. It'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens when, when this is out already, but the, yeah. when February, when they monetize shorts to see if it becomes like a better place or I don't know. We'll yeah, see. I'm excited to see. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. And then, and then TikTok just became this thing. And then when the, when the pandemic hit, it was such a lifesaver. Like he was mm. such a lifesaver during the pandemic because there was no work. There was no television or film. Mm. Um, you know, nothing was being produced. Um, TikTok was pushing live. Uh, yeah. So I got into a few programs where they're like, if you go live, you know, uh, this many hours a week, we'll, we'll pay you. We'll yeah, give you a I bonus. Mean, I remember that program. Yeah. And uh, so like that was great. And then I got him on Cameo. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. Cameo has been one of the biggest uh, kind of sources of revenue for, wow. for me was was him on there. Was it? It's, it's not anymore? Is it dipped down? Well, a um, it, I mean, Cameo kind of ebbs and flows. And I, and I, you know, it is certainly even last year, because I just sat down uh, a week or so ago and did like, OK, how much did he make this, <laughs> you yeah. know, this past year? Um, and, and Cameo was like one of the big pieces of the pie. There's yeah. several, you know, there's Google and TikTok and Creator Fund and Instagram bonuses or whatever. Right. Right. which I can't get uh, approved for. But um, is it why? Why is that? That well, we can talk about that. Dang. Um, but uh, you know, all those different pieces of the pie, mm -hmm. uh, Cameo was like one of the biggest. Right. And um, yeah, well, uh, you know, the, Cameo had this really great thing called Cameo calls, where you could set up, you could say like on this date at this time, Toily is going to be available, and you can do a one-on-one -on -one video chat with wow. him. Wow. And it was great. And I would do it every Sunday afternoon. No way. And there were people who. And like I wouldn't charge a lot, but it would be like it would be like four ninety nine for three minutes, something like that. You <laughs> wow. know what I mean? Like just yeah, that's cool. But there are people on there who are like charging, you know, yeah, uh, twenty bucks for one minute or whatever. Wow. You know, like I was just wow. like because I knew a lot of kids watch Toily, so sure. I didn't want to. But there were people who would call regular every week. Wow. And, and then if I was traveling or working on something, well, there's no cameo calls this week. What wow. we? But then that's really interesting. Um, it, I loved it. Like yeah. it was it was so much fun and. And uh, and then I got this idea. You watch you watch Lyle's podcast, right? Yeah, the Gecko. I mean, he's got that phone number you can call in. Yeah, that's really interesting. Do you don't do anything like that? Well, that's why I was having you ask questions. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Was having you ask questions right. about because well, we can talk about this too. But right. I had a, an unfortunate incident happen uh, during a live stream. Hmm. Um, but just to finish this this cameo thing, sure. they had this, and then um, I guess it, it wasn't Christmas this past year; it was the year before. Yeah, I was like, oh, what if Toily will read people? Twas the night before Christmas on Christmas Eve. Okay. And so I just set up all these cameo calls and it was like $22. It was like a seven minute cameo call. He would talk to you. He would read you towards the night before Christmas. He would chat with you. And then that was it. They sold out instantly. Wow. Like, and I only did like, I think I did them in like half hour in, or like 15 minute increments, Yeah. you know, but I sold like eight of them or 10 of them or something like sure. that. And it was so much fun. And it was like, sometimes it was adults. Sometimes it was kids. They're all in their pajamas <laughs> and Toily is like, Toily He's got a little Santa hat on and no he's way. reading to him. <laughs> oh, man. And then last year, Cameo cut 50% of their workforce. Wow. And then towards the end of the year, they cut 50% more of the, what was remaining. Okay. So I don't know even who's over there sure. anymore. Dang. Um, but they got rid of Cameo calls because I guess they didn't have developers working on it. Yeah. And it was like that was the most fun thing. And like right now I'm looking into other ways. Yeah. There's, there's a place that's like almost close. And I'm just like, if you let me schedule it in 50 15 minute increments I can do it. Anyway, um I feel it's, like you could maybe use like something like Calendly, Calendly right? Cal oh, I haven't heard of Calendly, that. One. Calendly, Calendly, where people can book segments in your calendar. For oh, price. well, yeah, I use this thing now <laughs> called Stan Store. Okay. Um, and Stan Store. Uh, I mean, don't tell Cameo this, but um, um, the other thing about Cameo, I love Cameo. Yeah. I, I, you know, and and I've made nice money from Cameo. Yeah. But if somebody books a Cameo from you through the app on the phone, yeah, you lose fifty percent pretty much of your cost. I mean, that's like. TikTok takes 50% of right. the, the tips you get. Right. Those gifts you, you... Yeah. So I feel like, yeah. Yeah. So, it, but, so like, that's why I would say if you're going to book a cameo from somebody, do it through the website because the person gets right. more, more money. Right, right, right. Um, 
So the stand store, uh, you can put up digital products. Hmm. And so I put up this thing. And with stand store, it's you pay $29 a month hmm. to have your stand store up. But then there's no other fees uh, at all. Right. For, oh, for no every... percentage or anything? Like, I got it. I think maybe when you transfer money, there's some square thing. But I think right. they I think they just waive that. I think they, there's not even that anymore. So I think it's just the $29 a month. But I will say I'm grandfathered into one of their early programs. So I think it's more than $29 dollars a month hmm. but anyway hmm. um but i have been using it sort of like as this cameo replacement and it's just like oh yeah. hey it's 12 bucks for like a 20 second shout out he'll just say like hey dominic that's hope you have a great day bro that's you know, a deal whatever you know wow. and um that has been good and they are almost to where i could do calls through them hmm. you know like they're because they have the thing where it's like you could book a zoom thing and it'll connect to your calendar and it'll it'll even create the zoom link and yeah. send it to the person but um they only let me you could say how long the webinar you could say like oh i only want this is only going to be a 10 minute call but you can only put availability every hour you know what i'm saying right so it's like i would want to do four in an hour sure as opposed to just one an hour right you know so anyway we're i'm, I'm still and i've talked to them they're like, oh okay we see what you mean we're gonna try and get that in oh there. cool so yeah they're very responsive so but anyway cool all right little, <laughs> little tangent i love it yeah stand store. About, about tangents that's cool um is there other ways you've made money with Toily? Last year, I just I have many friends who are artists, and they are all amazing artists. And I have said to many of them, I said, I will pay you a hundred dollars. Hmm. That's what I have is a hundred dollars. Yeah, budget. Um, if you do a piece of art that I can put on a spring Teespring T-shirt, and it's mm. like with Teespring, you don't make a ton per, right. per right, thing, right, right. you know. And um, and I go and you know I will pay you. I will also tag you in all the things. And I whenever Toily talks about your shirt, he's going to talk about you. And sure. I. I, I hate that, like, do it for exposure. But it's like, I can do $100 and exposure. That's what I can do. Right, you know? right. And 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 uh, if somebody tells me no, I am totally fine with it. Sure, it's like, course. it's not going to bother me if you say, like, my price is $200, yeah, yeah. you know? And I'd be like, okay, that's, I understand. Yeah. Um. So what I did last year was I made this thing where I was like, I'm going to have a new t-shirt every month. Wow. And I didn't quite do it. I think I, I think there were maybe, like, six new t-shirts, hmm. you know? um, Just in terms of people and asking people and getting them to... Think about how many people. holidays holidays there are too you know like yeah i don't know what your what your themes are but yeah only a couple well it was just holidays like i was making like um there's a series of videos i do with this other character lufa where he screams kyle and mm -hmm. so i made a kyle shirt like what's like with him in the thing and yeah. yelling kyle over yeah. the top and um and you know like when poop word of the day uh it's like the the poop emoji in a you know you know don't say poop say this instead cool. so there's a little shirt with toily holding up that little symbol in the right in the thing and um that worked really well you are, know are, that are that's still available oh yeah, yeah 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 and but what i think i'm going to start doing is once a design has been up there for a while hmm. i'll really publicize like end of this month it's yeah. going to go away so right. if you need this design you gotta get it now you know scarcity um yeah and and um i like how teespring kind of integrates with youtube so like your shirts are there underneath oh, the video wow. um except the links don't always work oh. and, and like when i had a new shirt and i put it under the video videos and was doing a live stream and was like this new shirt you should see it it's yeah. right down here people are like oh it's taking us to a dead end page Dang. and it's like that's youtube and spring uh, working together yeah. you know that's not anything i can do um is that a feature that's available for everyone or no like adding your t-shirt uh, or product they have something i think you have to reach a certain level okay um and it Mon may be that once you hit that monetization yeah. level then you can got it um and it's not just teespring you they, there's all these different stores that they will allow you to it's like called a shelf i think yeah um so it's right underneath the video cool and you can pick what's there for all the videos on your channel or you can pick specific videos to only have certain things right and you can tag products now too so it's like but Toily, I mean, he can't wear his own shirts. But if he's with John and John is wearing one of the shirts in a video, then I can tag that shirt in the video, you know, hmm. so uh, they don't fit him. Yeah, I was just thinking like how he would wear a shirt yeah. or a pair of pants. Yeah. He doesn't have like an outfit at all besides a hat. Sometimes I put a bow tie on him and the bow tie goes under his arms, you know, so it's a little bit like SpongeBob. Not like, yeah, like a like a belt. Yeah. SpongeBob belt. So, uh, cool. so yeah. And then what else? I'm trying to think. It's Cameo was big. T-shirts, um, you know. Know the 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 stuff from YouTube and the Creator Fun 
and is nice mm -hmm. um, yeah, sometimes. And the, uh, the, like views on YouTube, is that what you mean? Like the long form views? Yeah, you know, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah the AdSense, the Google AdSense from that kind of thing. And um, the, you know, and the Creator Fund and... Uh, not the, not right. the Instagram one. For I don't know, for whatever reason, uh, this was a very good, or last year, 2022, was a very good year for Toily on Instagram. Yeah. I had worked like from the beginning of his Instagram account to May of last year uh, and he had 15,000 followers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that was the TikTok stuff of like, oh, if you follow me during yeah, where yeah. this live stream ends, I'll right. follow you back, you know. And um, uh, and then I started posting Poop Word of the Day on Instagram. I was going to get to that, actually. Yeah. How did you come up with the Poop Word of the Day? How did that start? Because <laughs> it's a very big part of what you're doing right now. It is. Yeah. It is. It's an interesting point. It's a very interesting, I mean, a very interesting point creatively with Toily. <laughs> um, but uh, and to be talking about Poop Words of the Day. But um, early on in 2019, he did a video on his channel because remember I was talking about longer videos yeah. on YouTube okay. gets the longer watch time, yeah. right? So I'm going to do Toily doing a hundred names for, for taking a poop, a hundred different names. So there's a video that's on Toily's channel from 2019. That's God. just him going, you know, whatever, Talking all these different for, names yeah. of, of things. And then another video I did was Lufa. Uh, his character is he loves burritos. Like, the, I don't know why. That's just his thing. He Wait, loves did you burritos. bring Lufa? Lufa, Lufa's it. Yeah, he's Ah, a, okay. Um, okay. Uh, so he's here too. But he, um, so his thing is burritos. Hmm. So I saw Miranda Sings. Do you know Miranda Sings? Um, not personally. No. Okay, but yeah, I've yeah, heard but her. you heard of her. Mm -hmm. um, early on, I was like, I want to base Toily's channel on her channel. Because that's another thing I think you should do too, is like hmm. find a channel you like and kind of go way back and see their their path like what did they do to get where they are and yeah. she had a she had like her i could be wrong on this but like her fifth or tenth video went super viral so that's how that helped her kick her up right but um one of her recent videos or at that time was just her saying hey guys for 10 minutes and so I'm like, hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys <laughs> and so i was like oh my god what if lufa says burrito for 10 minutes <laughs> And yeah. it worked. And it was like at that time where they were like all those big YouTubers started doing 10 minute long videos because mm. like they were doing a short form. But yeah. there was like this. I don't know when it was, but there was this time where they all started doing over 10 minute long yeah, videos. They were trying to get that extra ad bonus. Yeah. Or the ad placement. Yeah. So mm. I was just like, OK, uh, that's what I'm going to do is just start doing these dumb videos. So anyway, I did poop word of the day for him. So I had a list and then I started keeping another list because he was going to do a sequel mm. that was like 100 more poop word names for taking a poop. I feel like this could be a a book that you could perfect. probably like a, like, a <laughs> like one of these little joke books like one of these little joke books that I buy at the 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 gas station yeah you know like what was this JoJo's jokes for kids <laughs> it has forty jokes in it like it's very. Sh you know, it's like yeah. little pages. Yeah. It's poop word of the day and a picture of toilet. I'd buy it. I, I, perfect. I'd get it. Uh, yeah. So so then I was just like, and then I saw, uh, I was, I meant to look up his name before I came here today. Mm. There is a guy. He's a young kid. He's, he's great. We follow each other, but he has like a salamander puppet, I think. Mm. Okay. who teaches Spanish. Okay. <laughs> and all it is is this little puppet in front of a door, and um, I can look up his name um, uh, in a second, but it's he's in front of a door, and... Um, Hmm. He he just says the word, you know, he says like the word in Spanish. Yeah. And then he points to it and it's just like he's handwritten the word and taped it to a door. OK. You know, and he points to the word with the ruler like he's like a teacher. Right? Yeah. And he goes this and he'll and they're not even like they're just basic phrases. Like it's not even like, oh, I'm going to say this, you know, get your dog out of my mayonnaise or whatever. You know, <laughs> like he's just saying like useful phrases that hmm. you would say. And I was just like, this is genius. He's he's he films a bunch of these. He just edits them he puts them up he gets tons of views yeah and um so i was like what do i have that's like that hmm. and i thought back about this video I, in my notes app i had the list of all the poop words and i was like poop word of the day that's what it is it's poop word of the day yeah and, and you found success with that pretty much like right away it seems like am i right am i, wrong? I did i did i yeah. um we we'll get into talking about tiktok and, the, and their ways yeah <laughs> but the first 20 poop word of the day videos on tiktok every day was 
was over a million. Like it was, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. Like it was nuts. And then on that 21st or 22nd day, huh. slam, they got slammed down. Huh. And I was never one of these t- TikTok conspiracy yeah, theorists yeah, yeah, who yeah, was yeah. like, they're, they're messing with our views, sure. you know, or shadow banning or all that. And I just thought like, okay, maybe that one wasn't funny. Huh. You know, no. like that one, that one wasn't funny. Right. And then, uh, I post the next one, like barely 10,000 views Yeah, from literally going 1 million, 2 million, 1 million. And like, even the lowest was like 600,000. Wow. And then just the next week, all of them were barely making 10,000. And even now I, now it's like, they don't even get to 5,000. I, <laughs> I post every single day Yeah, and the view counts are so low, but that's when I kind of, when that happened, I transferred over to, uh, Instagram and started posting them as reels on there. And they started taking off as reels on Instagram and uh, on Instagram it's uh, you know I'd say each day gets between 50 to 100,000 on Instagram Mm. but and and then like the news this week of uh, here we're talking about tech news uh, this week what you got like they they have that fire button or whatever like that's all the news about TikTok it's like they can boost stuff from the inside yeah and it's like, I wonder if somebody was just like, we don't want TikTok to be poop word. You know what I mean? <laughs> and maybe not. Maybe it's people were like, we get the joke. It's over, you know, but it's just weird. To, and like every once in a while, like if I do a holiday specific one, yeah. like if I do it, cause I did 25 days, like right before Christmas, those all did pretty well. Right. But, um, and if I do a holiday specific one, it will usually, uh, do pretty well, but yeah, it was, it's been a real, they're not working on TikTok. I have to come up with something else on Dang. TikTok. Dang. I'm just. Uh, just looking at it I, I mean do you think it's the, the background being all the same does that matter you know and maybe know. change with a different background maybe B- try different, that with a new is, thing yeah. is it a different state <laughs> different bathroom is yeah. It, yeah is it a different bathroom <laughs> well and that's some of the like the Christmas ones he was in a different bathroom it's not that same <laughs> orange you know kind of cartoony background yeah. you know um, and then for New Year's he was because my my editor uh, he just loves coming up with different kinds of backgrounds to put him in so yeah I see you have a, like a Halloween background yeah here. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, it's just weird. It's just this weird thing. And it's like, Hmm. you know, like I'm not saying that they did do something to it, but it was just weird to have, like, I was talking to somebody, uh, the Ruby piano. She's somebody who, who I talk, we messaged in our group. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, but I message her, like her and I message like every day, like, Oh, this is happening. Oh, I couldn't get views on this. Oh, this is going on. Yeah. And she's been, um, like we've never met, but she's been a great person to like, kind of just chat with. And, um, you know, um, just on the topic of these videos not doing performing well, um, are you? Do you find that people use the sound at all to make their own videos? Are you like? Are you? Do you have a lot of weight on that idea? Here's here's another thing why I think they're not doing well. <laughs> is, this is this is what I want to talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Is um, I'm not using the app as much. Yeah. Okay. I'm posting and then I I really don't go into the app. I don't know if that's a problem. I, I well, would... I'm not interacting. You know what I mean? So, but I'm not looking to see if people are using the sound. And mm. I know some people do edit. You know, like some people will do edit and then like laugh at the thing but uh i think you're still doing very well honestly even the videos that have twenty thousand views have a thousand likes yeah you know that's that seems like a lot anyway with the the fact that the the sound matters or not what i would suggest would be to add a viral sound yeah because then you rely on the sound being viral and then your video is attached to that sound so it shows up on those pages but yeah you know then you risk the sound not going viral for whatever reason well it was interesting because i i I got to, I was coming up on 250 and then 250, 250 words of the day, you know, poop <laughs> words of the day. And that was coming up at the end yeah. of uh, the year, this of uh, 2022. That's amazing. And so I'm talking to my wife and I go, do I stop at 250? Yeah. Cause like, I'm, I've just, you know, everybody's seen I this. I mean, at this point you're, you might as well go for a year, right? R- well, that's, and that was the other thing well. was like, do it through 365. And well, then you got a book. Then you got a book. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> poop a day. Uh, I'll buy it. Well, then what I noticed was that in the comments, people were commenting hmm. you should do this one you should do this one you should do this one. okay you know and so what i did was in uh, my stand store because stan store can link to you can link to outside links yeah i created a google form where you could suggest your own no way of the day okay and so i said uh i said you know uh, now in the description of all my videos i go suggest your own poop word of the day at the you know the stand store it. in my bio got it got it and um 
Wait a second. Now I have another suggestion then. Okay. Well, I went I went to my Google form. Yeah. And there's like over a thousand suggestions. Oh my gosh. From people. Wow. And I go, okay, well, we can do a year. Oh, you know what I mean? It's course. like we we can definitely do a year, but I gotta get back into doing non poop word of the day content. Is That's it, what I gotta do. Is it something you can schedule? You know, and then you like spend a day or a weekend to just do them all and then oh that's what oh. i do i mean that's you know? that's what I, I mean do a thousand <laughs> i have a great editor named uh editor <laughs> steven yeah. yeah and he edits everything for him or he edits those for me yeah and um so he's really great it's like well i'll send him like as i said this week it's like i should probably record 20 more to go into the middle well this is coming out middle of february but yeah. going out yeah. you know for the next month um and, and get them all done and then um but i need something else you know what i mean like it's like i'm getting you just need it to work though because what if it what if it works that's all i'm saying because okay have you heard of the cheeky boyos do you know who those guys i familiar? think so yeah. they're always like replying to a comment and then they do something ridiculous yeah it's that replying to the comment which signals to the audience to comment yeah and that you're you're replying to the comment right yeah that well that's what i want to do because those are also low effort dude low effort you know what i mean yeah. i mean it's funny because also with puppets there's a little bit more effort <laughs> um but uh but it is yes yeah uh like i had someone the other day on instagram say this is unfunny i'm unsubscribed yes <laughs> right <laughs> And I was going to reply as Toily yeah. and be like, oh, thank God. We got <laughs> I can finally do the cut. We were just waiting for you to unsubscribe. But then you get into that weird thing. Where it's like, are you bullying him? Aww. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah, he, could, he could come blind. back and go, they're bullying me Aww. because I, but it's like, well, you were the first bully. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm bullying you back. But oh, it's man. like, you got to be the, you got to be the bigger role. The you know, you, role. Can't, <laughs> you can't. Um, sure. But yeah, you know, yeah, it's like, that's. It's, get it. I get lazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, oh, I've got, I've got 25 of these in the can. I don't sure. have to do anything for the next 25 days. Well, you you, what else are you doing? You know, are you well, working on anything else for this year besides uh, for him? Yeah. Um, I going back to Miranda Sings back in yeah. early 2019 was before the pandemic. Um, I just really got into studying her channel. Okay. You know, like my ultimate dream would be Toily and her do a collab, but I just because I think it would be funny. The two characters, okay, guys, make it know. happen. Make it yeah. happen. Um, but I was watching all her videos and seeing how she how she did things, and then she said, "I'm going on tour, and she's going to be in Glendale." And I was like, "I told my wife, I go, we're going, we're going. It's a Sunday <laughs> night. We're going to go. It starts at seven. It's at Glendale. It's just, we live in Burbank. I I go. Yeah. It's next city over. We're going to go see her. Yes. We." We went on a Sunday night and it's not a huge theater, but it's a decent sized theater. Yeah. It's on, it's on brand. Yeah. Um, packed. Like we bought last minute tickets. We were way up at the top. Like we were like two rows from the last. And I think it was yeah. only the last row that was empty. When she walked out on stage, these kids lost their mind. Wow. Like it was like, I told my wife, I go, this is what it was like when the Beatles, you know what I mean? Like, cause like this was the noise that you always hear in the Beatles thing. Yeah. Like, and like literally like, just now talking about yeah, it, I got yeah, goosebumps yeah, yeah. cause it was like, like the kids were just nuts. And then I was just like, this is so great because she can pretty much walk, take off the lipstick, undo her hair, put her hair in a different way, walk out of here. And unless it's a diehard fan who knows that she has this other channel right. where it's just her talking, she can walk out there and not be recognized by anybody. Interesting. And like I was sitting there watching, I go, this is what I want for. Oh my God, if Toily could have a show like this yeah. where it's just her and like she had a couple people, other people come out on stage, but I go, because this is where that's where he started, you yeah. know, was doing these these fringe shows. So this year I've reached out to a few booking agents. That's why I was like when Lyle said yeah. he was doing a tour, I was like, oh, my God, how does he do this? This is like this is like who's booking him? Because this is what I want to do with Toily is um, is tour, you know. And uh, so I reached out to there's this guy who I'm not going to say any names because sure. we haven't even we haven't no, even talked yet. But there's a guy who kind of specializes in puppet, uh, you know, or like children, family productions and whatever. Okay. And I don't know. If his show would be a family show or it'd be like kind of a PG-13 show okay, cool. where he would he would drop the F bomb occasionally. But um I was like, okay, this is, and and he's somebody who other puppeteers, he's booked their shows. So I'm like, hopefully I can slide in and go. He's got three million on TikTok. He's yeah. got two hundred and thirty on Instagram. He's got twenty two wow. on um YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. Are you on Facebook, Good. by the way? Uh I just got back onto Facebook. Oh, man. 
Okay. Yeah, it's not because I got really burned down on Facebook, and I've quit Facebook several times well, I'm personally. Gonna pu- I'm going to push you to get back on it because they have he a is. huge bonus program. That's he is. Well, that's it, the other so. thing I was going to say is yeah. is with him and the Instagram bonuses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's got subscriptions. I just enabled subscriptions oh, okay. yesterday. So um, I think uh, I saw that actually. And he's yeah. got six subscribers. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Um, and uh, but immediately people were like, "What? I'm unfollowing because." Of, and I go, nothing is changing. This yeah. is just going to be extra content for them that you're sure. not even going to see. So yeah. you, what you, nothing is changing for you, please. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I, I appreciate it. Just following is support. You right. know, like right. it does, you don't have to subscribe. This is just if you want to support, you can. And um, oh, and I, this is nothing we can talk about about YouTube if we still have time. But um, we do. OK, I, I, everybody like Ruby is telling me about her name's not Ruby, but I yeah, call her Ruby. I'm sure. But, oh, but, the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's always talking about like, oh, the Instagram bonuses and Instagram bonus. Yeah. And I was like, and I think it was one of those things where it popped up and I just said later. Yeah. And, and then, then it has gone. And then it's gone. Yep. I ha- it happened to me on Facebook. Was yeah. Something. Yeah. And and so I think that's what happened. And then but I'm you know, it's like I really I went from 15,000 in May to right now. <laughs> 231,000. Wow. Um, because of the poop word of the day. Just posting the same content from TikTok to... Uh, Just posting that poop word. Yeah, that wow. poop word of the day. And then some some select old TikToks where yeah. I was like, oh, I know this TikTok did well, so I'll put this one up here, mm. you know. Uh, but it's mostly all just been poop word of the day. Wow. And... Um, I just, I can't get, I could get like, oh, you can link your Teespring store and you can feature products in your thing. But again, he can't wear t-shirts, hmm. um, but you you can, you can do that, you know, and like you get, it's just sending people to your Teespring store. Um, I got the thing where you, if you go live, people can do badges or whatever, yeah. you know, like where yeah, they yeah. can give you money that way. Mm-hmm. But I could never get this bonus thing. And then my personal account, which I rarely post to, um, you know, and I have like 3000 followers on my personal account account i log in i was like join the bonus program and i was like no oh, this is the wrong account uh, i want you on this like okay wait wait this account. what if what if you got rid of uh like you change your personal account to toilet to toilet to, 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 to yeah. too you know and then make another personal account <laughs> Toily, yeah. toily, you know, I don't know, some <laughs> other thing instead of poop, poop word of the day. Uh, yeah, he, of the could day. Be, he could be. It's a yeah. secret account. You yeah, guys have yeah, found yeah. my secret, secret account. account. Yes. That's cool. Um, I'll follow. I'll be first follower. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the other thing is, uh, and we kind of talked about this before we got started yeah. going live here, sure. was I got channel memberships on his YouTube channel. They got activated. What's? I actually don't know what that is. What's um, that? It's like... It's subscription? It's like subscription. Yeah. It's like, So it's channel memberships. And when you're filling it out and they're, they're giving you all this advice, Advice as you're filling it out, they go pick four levels, and so I made the the bottom one one ninety nine, mm-hmm. and then four ninety nine, and then nine ninety nine, and then they say pick a crazy one, pick an amount you think no one is going to subscribe to. What? So I picked twenty four ninety nine because even though even still thinking way too low, sure. right? So I picked twenty four ninety nine. So I launched these memberships, and the the people at the first level they just get a little badge next to their name. Okay, that's what they get, and they can use uh, special emojis in the chat. Hmm. When, when, when Toily is live. Similar to TikTok Live right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, it's exactly, yeah, it's yeah. exactly. Except TikTok Live is only one level. It's right? only one. Yeah. yeah, so this is four levels. So the next level, they get a bonus video every month that nobody else sees. So cool. I just make a bonus video that they cool. get. The, the 9.99 level, they get all that other stuff and then they get an exclusive live stream with Lufa once a month. So okay. it's just a 30 minute live stream with him and- How much is that one? That's 9.99. Okay, that seems like a deal. And then, so, and then 24.99 was- Oh, I'll do a personal. Toily will do a personalized video for you. And so right away when I launched them, one guy joined the twenty four ninety nine level, wow. and then everybody else was kind of like you know spread out. Uh, you know, other yeah. people were spread out. I'd say he's got <laughs> maybe thirty. 30 you know subscribers okay. right but no one was really going he does like to- toily toily to- toily uh, for his channel uh, his channel time. members got it got it. right so he's got about 30 people who support yeah. him every month super grateful for all this of them right now level. or back okay. right now okay. right now okay. yeah and um and then it was kind of like this level like that top level i was like well this is an incentive like a personalized video like is not you know, like what could i do here hmm. and i had always joked that toily should have an only fans <laughs> 
and that the OnlyFans would be me, and you would see me puppeteering no him way. because you don't really see that, huh. right? Yeah. And so, like, that was my joke was that, but OnlyFans, you know, it's like I do under, I do, even though Toily swears and he says things that are inappropriate, yeah, I do understand that kids watch Toily's videos, yeah. and that's his primarily his audience, right? And so, nothing against OnlyFans, fantastic. <clears throat> you make money on OnlyFans, that's great. But I was just yeah. like, if I start putting Toily on OnlyFans, I could run into parents getting mad. So and so, what I said was, what if this twenty four ninety nine level on YouTube, yeah, is the behind the scenes stuff, right? So is me, and so when I'm doing live streams, I'll have a second, I'll have just my phone, yeah, recording just a big wide shot of all the stuff I do with the puppets and changing the puppets because no they all come up in the thing. And the moment I announced that, ten people joined. No way. Yeah, and they they bumped up their memberships, yeah, instantly. And so now I just I are they puppets uh, puppeteers that are like watching and trying to see what I you're think doing some maybe but i don't i think yeah. it's just it's or just, just so, fans yeah and they just really want to um support to, to support yeah. and, but they they love this aspect of it mm. of the so like and so like i'll i'll um you know if like if something goes wrong and it's just like oh this thing broke and i need this new thing i'll just make a little video about it and i go and thanks to you guys i'm able to buy a new one wow you know um yeah and so at 24.99 to suddenly have 10 more people it's like wow that's a whole bunch more money a month you know love that and it's scalable and one day you might have a thousand people you know yeah so that's why i was even thinking like oh maybe the instagram thing should be that and i go no i like keeping that just this one youtube channel where it's like mm -hmm. if you really want to see behind the scenes this is where you join okay uh, well, they won't allow you to like uh, cross promote like take the same video that you're making from youtube and just post it on instagram oh no i could i could yeah i could but i don't okay. want i like that the instagram is such a low pro the instagram mm. subscriptions are just 2.99 hmm. so it's like that's not enough to see yeah, yeah, yeah. to see this match <laughs> you need to pay a little bit more to see <laughs> to see how the sausage is made uh, you know um cool. i but, for a moment i thought when you said only fans for a toilet i thought he was just gonna be a role yeah you know? well that was the other th that was yeah. the other thing i was toying with but i just i and again it's nothing against only fans at all it's just that <laughs> i i would run into weird things with i run into weird things with the parents already yeah you know because like like i had some cameo request that was like my son's turning nine and he loves your poop word of the day videos could you say i hope you have a great day with no and i'm not gonna say the word yeah uh but no sh you know yeah and i was like but this kid's turning nine and you what? want me to say that okay yeah i mean you know and then toily you know toily makes a joke out of it he was like hope you have a year with no can i say that to a nine-year-old i guess so <laughs> sh sh and he just starts saying it a bunch you know because it's like they gave him permission so yeah but i just know that there's a lot of kids who watch so i don't i don't i just don't you know i just try to i still come from that i was a substitute teacher for years mm. um i worked in you know like that whole uncle interloper thing was a kid friendly thing so i was in that space yeah um are, so are there any like pieces of advice you can give content creators that are making content that you think that may maybe you maybe you see happening on the internet that you think that they should they should be a certain way or um, any, any take on that or no no i mean i i just i think it's my my big piece of advice was uh you know and i saw this on a lot of youtube channels it's like once you and youtube and tiktok it's like once you find your thing that's your thing yeah you know and i kept telling my wife um and it's funny that i've come into this hmm. uh or i'm at the point i am now where i was just like there were some things where it's like a video would go like those kyle videos where it's lufa yelling at his roommate kyle yeah those always do super well and it got to the point where it's like i know that if i do this video it's gonna get fifty thousand views or whatever yeah but it's like not creative you know what i mean and it's like now i'm in this stupid poop word of the day thing where it's super not creative <laughs> Um, so there was this other guy who, and I forget, I heard it from somewhere, but it was like, take your most well-performing video and just make that video again right, differently. Right, right. You know? Yeah. And, um, so what my goal was, was to have a bunch of those videos. Hmm. So the Kyle video I know does well. The poop word of the day at the beginning, they did well, yeah. you know, and fine. So I'm like, right now I'm looking at, I'm going to do, um, somebody got me this book of poop facts. Okay. So I was like, instead of poop, poop word, word of the, the day, day yep. it's like, here's a poop fact. You yeah. know, it's like the one just one quick little poop fact. The other thing is, um, and this was, I think I did this on 
Facebook and YouTube, but I did a thought of the week and it was Toilet's Thought of the Week okay. and they would come out every Monday <laughs> okay. and it had nothing to do with poop. It was like, um, uh, you know, like it was, it was like famous phrases and then he would put his spin on them. So like the famous phrase is like, um, carrying a grudge is like drinking poison and hoping that the other person dies. You know what I mean? Like it's that thing of like, like a quote. Yeah, it's like a quote, yeah. right? Um, so Toilet would go like, carrying a grudge is like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies, but then you're dead and you don't have to deal with them. <laughs> You know, so it's always his little spin yeah. on what the, uh, I'm trying to, I can't think right, of another right, right. one, but um, that's good. Just like those. So I was like, oh, I did these on YouTube as square format, but mm -hmm. what if I reshoot them all mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and update them? Totally. And, and then that could, that's uh, content for every Monday, you know, for 52 months. Cause I did, a, I did a whole year of those. And so the content's already there. Just re and I, I could go in and re-edit it cause he's kind of in the middle of the frame. But like at this point, it's like, I, it'll look better to me personally if I just reshoot it, you know, at four mm -hmm. vertical. Even though my videos aren't doing as well as they once were, right? Like my thing is live, and so I want to get back into doing live. Okay, go ahead. And I and I want to do more now that the pandemic is over. I want to do more in person stuff, more yeah. live stuff. Um, and I do think uh, toily with people. Um, like I did videos with you on Hollywood Boulevard, right? And some of those are my best performing videos because oh. it's toily with another person. Right. You know what I mean? That was fun. And yeah, and so I I want to do more of that and then unfortunately the pandemic happened and yeah. so we couldn't do more of that and then you were live streaming every day and then i was live streaming every day yeah. yeah and 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 there was a a time period where um like when you had lyle on uh <laughs> the gecko on earlier yeah. in your in your series yep um where I had a Discord channel set up where people could talk to Toily. And so I would do these big long things and I'd have a I'd have a question for um for for Toily to, you know, like, oh, today we're talking about the best birthday gift you ever got. Right. And so then people would call in and but through Discord and talk to Toily live. Hmm. And then uh and so that's how I did a lot of live streams and I loved it because you could also snip those out and, and and use those as their own content. Yeah. And then one day this this kid called in and I said, and you know toilet and he's talking to toilet for like five minutes and he's just like he how was school oh was this what'd you do oh we did math but then we had pe and blah 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 blah. and then just as loud as he could a horribly offensive term wow. that i cannot repeat sure. right now and yeah. like i immediately like here's the other thing is when you're doing all this you're doing it one-handed right yeah. so all like the bringing the person on and everything you have to do one hand and then you come over and move his arms then you got to do all this stuff so i immediately dumped him yeah and and then immediately just apologized i go that was horribly offensive and da, 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 and then TikTok shut down my live. Oh, it was live on TikTok also? It was just live on TikTok. Wait, you, all, did you that's... lose access to TikTok live? For a week. They banned me okay. for a week. Dang. And and I was bummed about it. Yeah. Um, for several reasons. I was bummed because like it was like, I didn't say it. The yeah. caller said it. Right. But I understand that I am ultimately responsible for the content that goes out on my live. I get it, right? And then I realized that there is such a delay if I would have quit the live immediately. Like they as soon as that it. happened, yeah, yeah. it might not have gone out. I might have been able to catch it. Right. Because there's like you know, a few seconds. Yeah. Um, and but then I was just bummed because I was just like, I can't do live calls. Ugh. And so that's why when Lyle was on, I was asking, like, how does he do that? Because and I think maybe so like his he, answer was that he record he's recording them. They're not live. Right. It's live at the time. But then he's recording it. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Editing. It. Yeah. Yeah. So I, and that's what I, that's what another thing I want to do is like do a live call show, do a live call show but not live but, but it's not live. yeah yeah and just say like tell all toilies fans hey today from this time to this time right if we use discord or if we get a phone number or whatever it's like call through this and then you can yeah can even even this show i've considered like oh i have like a little thing here and i can hold my phone right I yeah can just kind of drop my phone right there and then boom i'm we could be live also yeah um but i'm not i, I, I don't yeah, know i'm trying to handle the audience and um, i don't know if i'll do that later but yeah it's 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 not a very delicate balance i always feel yeah. too with like it's like when i interview for my under the puppet show yeah um i always tell them it's like this doesn't go out live <laughs> so if they if at the end of the interview they'll be like you know i said that thing i don't really like in the spicy world of puppetry yeah. it's like oh i said <laughs> that thing about so and so i don't really want that to be part of the show yeah 
and then they can they can be cut out you know so for interviews yeah but it's just like i was just bummed because i was just like this was such a fun thing talking to people live and yeah. kids would get so excited to do it that they're actually talking to toily so, and then i would do like talent shows would so be like oh you, you can only call in if you have a joke or yeah. whatever and then i did a thing uh, those little books that you told me about right that, with all the questions yep i would do a game show called um on a roll or in the bowl okay and so you know those <laughs> what is that those little books are like first grade second grade yeah. third grade fourth yeah, grade yeah i got grade. them right here yeah so it would yeah. be it would be five questions mm-hmm. you get one for each book and if you got it right you would go on to the next one yes and you'd be on a roll you go on to the next okay. one you know on a roll. but if you lost then there was a flushing sound and i would cut you off you would you that's would, very good when did you do that because i did a similar thing um gosh there was an app that was like it was like a talk show host app make your own game show yeah like, make your, no it wasn't no it was like a like a before clubhouse okay oh right it was yeah, like yeah. clubhouse yeah. but it was um for audio only and i think it was not maybe amp or radio.com or something but i did a similar thing and, and I, I was like i don't know what to do and people could call in and be on the show and i would play a game with them and i'd read a question and then if they got it right they would go on to the next one i just yeah give them like a high five if, if they won uh three you know yeah and if they didn't win then they would get cut off so that's that's yeah, i forgot about that yeah yeah, yeah. and then we what we would do yeah was my wife has a cricket machine like where you can cut out like designs and everything okay and so we would cut out their name on vinyl and if they if they got it right if they if they if got they all won. the way yeah. their name would go up behind me but then tiktok mm. got in that whole thing where it was like for a while they were like no gift baiting you yeah. can't and it was like no these aren't right. these aren't gifts right these are people who won the game show right but they didn't they didn't understand that so I, my live would get cut down because i was gift baiting because i had that thing hanging behind <laughs> toilet but now they're like yeah beg for gifts <laughs> have, have a match with somebody and all that kind of weird stuff that's like wait this all would have got me in trouble a year ago yeah you know? it's changed a little bit it seems yeah. yeah so i i was even thinking like and i'm sure there's some changing constantly right? tiktok like, law against it yeah. that i would get in trouble for mm. but it would be like um get the person's username and for every question they because now you can you can go live with somebody yeah so go live and it's like an ambush game show because i have people trying to connect with toily all the time and they don't know what they're connecting to they just see that someone's live and they're verified so they just go with it okay and and just have toily and his bow tie and, welcome to the game show you're here it's great and and then, like, would I get in trouble if I say you get a dollar for every question you answer right up to five? I don't know. And then I would Venmo them five bucks Whoa. You know, if they did. And I mean, it would make great content to post either way. I know, but yeah. I just don't know if I would get in trouble for doing that. You know, I like mean, we I'm could like, go oh, do that on the street. <laughs> that's true and then make a video then i don't know if i have the money we, with me right in the i got money i got okay. i got five bucks we can go do that great um hmm. yeah so anyway yeah. so but it's because i see toily as a host like i would love yeah. like whenever they have one of those things that it's like we're looking for tiktokers to be or youtubers to be on the red carpet totally. i'm like please let toily be on the red. are you kidding oh my god and like everyone would want to come talk to him and yeah. i'm not just saying i'm not saying that as a as like a bragging thing but it's like if you saw this on the red carpet you'd be like I, what is this i want to go talk to to this guy totally, you know totally and um so anyway i i yeah the, like i want to do live shows and i think him as a host is a is a fun concept him with people i think is fun yeah because like i feel for the past two years it's just been him and his other puppet buddies yeah and i do when i do live streams my friend john is in orlando and we use this um software called ecam okay and i film him on a green screen yeah and then i just make john's camera big and it looks like they're together so like we do a little gag where it's like toilies in california he's in orlando but he's gonna i'm coming to your house and then i put like a little driving thing behind him as he's <laughs> as he's coming and john's playing the piano and then all of a sudden he's there so that's fun but it's like i think the real people you know together yeah. like him and you or him and somebody on the street is 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 the way to go right him and him and people so that's like there's a in Burbank every once a month they have like a like a street thing where it's like food trucks and everything and I was just like and it's always I'm always working like there's always Dang. something going on but it's just like this is what I got to go out of there one Friday night and I could film just so much stuff just once a month talking once a month yeah once a month when is that let's maybe I can come film uh yeah it's like the last I think it's the last Friday of every month. I think they, it's the last Friday. So I'll let you know yeah. when it is. Yeah. Not this not this Friday or not next Friday. Friday, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, because like I, I just wanted to, him to do, like I thought a thing at, um, at Christmas is just him going up to people going, naughty or nice. <laughs> Which one are you? Naughty or nice? You know, and if they say naughty, go, oh, what? Is, you know, like, yeah, 
you know, I don't know, just dumb questions where, uh, you know, I've been, because your things on the pier are just so, like, inspirational. Where it's Thanks, just like, man. oh, my gosh, like, this is this is amazing. Yeah. You know, and you have it all set up where it's just like, here's a sign that Dude. says you're going to be on TikTok. Exactly. Here's, here's, you know, it's like, it's genius. Thanks. It really is. Appreciate that. And, uh, and it's just with puppets, there's like a little bit more equipment. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just like, because, because I'm suddenly one handed. So I kind of do need somebody else there to, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, um, you know, I have the time where it's like, I could just go to, up to Universal City. Well, I don't know if they'd allow me at Universal City Walk, but you know what I mean? Like, just yeah. go somewhere and or just start Hollywood or it. Hollywood, uh, right. Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. But it's like, it's just this weird thing where it's like, you know what I, my, have you seen my setup? Did I ever show you what it looks like? Like, I think I've scenes? seen, yeah, pictures I've of it. Pictures. Yeah. Um, anyway, I have your uh, metrics up that we can go over and then we'll be done the podcast. We'll close it out. Yeah. And, uh, let's actually try to get to the streets because that'd be cool. Um, and we'll play some games before we go. Uh, so you have your your metrics. You've got 11% engagement, which is, I feel like it's average. I'm, I have 10%. I just looked uh, yesterday. 300 million views. Your average view is what? 264,000? Wait. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. This is another thing I got to get more into is my... So your average views on a video is 264,000 because you have uh, 1,200 videos you've made or that, that are public. And is this just TikTok? Yes. Okay. 34 million likes. 3 million, uh, million followers. You've made 322 minutes of content. Um, 1,500,000 shares. 300,000 comments. 18 years <laughs> watch of time. watch time. <laughs> you don't get that time back at the end of your life. Everybody. Right. Yeah. And then um, the other thing is we have like your top videos. So this is really cool. Oh, yeah. 10.5 million views. What's going on here? That was that sound where it's like, it's like, a, like I don't know what the sound is like. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you go, oh, damn. Like, oh. The last thing is, oh, damn. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's just him looking at paper towels, which I just <laughs> thought was the stupidest thing in the world. He's like, ooh, oh, yeah. You know, whatever that song is. Yeah. And then he sees a box full of naked paper towel rolls. And he just goes, oh, damn, like <laughs> naked. So, that's cool. Well, and that's it. That's my most popular video, I guess. Um, Grant, how how can people follow you? Uh, well, you can follow Toily. He's the Toily on everything. Yeah. So just about everything, um, uh, including including Twitch, started doing Twitch shows yeah. and, and, and everywhere. Just so the toily me personally, uh, my website is Mr. Grant.com. Cool. Just M R G R A N T.com. Um, and then, uh, I wasn't cool enough to get the same name on all different <laughs> social media things. So Instagram, I'm throwing toasters, uh, all one word. Um, cool. and so yeah, those are the two places. All right, Grant. Thanks so much, buddy. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. Uh, guys, stick around. We're going to do something with toily in a second. I've got the wonderful toily with me. Ah! It's so great to be here, Dom. It's great to see you, as always. One of my first TikTok buddies. Yes, one of uh, you're one of my first uh, f- people that I've subscribed to live. You, when you were live streaming back in uh, 2019. Ooh, back in the old days, back when we used to have to hand make our TikToks. Yeah, we had to go out to the barn early in the morning, <laughs> wake up the cows and the chickens, <laughs> just get out the tiller. Yeah. Start wow. mining for gold. <laughs> TikTok gold. Trying to strike gold, man, oh, every time. Yeah, every time. Anyway, how are you? What's going I'm on? I'm doing good. I've been well. I've been well. How about you? you? I'm, I'm doing, you know, rolling along. Uh, thanks for having me on your Breakout Creator Show. Appreciate you, man. I mean, Appreciate I, you for being here. I mean, it's an I, honor. Uh, yeah, I've got a... What episode a, number is this? Uh, Your episode 16. 16. Yes. Oh, that's how long it took. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Well, um, totally. I've got some games here. I've got a wheel next to me. I'm going to spin it. Yes, yeah, spin that All wheel. Right. All right. And then uh, it'll it, it's going to tell me what game to play. Okay. So the first one, it says, uh, ooh, who am I? Who am I? All right. Yes, who am I? You're dumb. Um, th- you know, I always expect people to say that. And I did. Um, and you did. So <laughs> Expectations uh, delivered. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to go with this one. All right. So you, you've seen this game before, I think. Um, okay. Who am I? I am a rom con. I'm a rom con. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm rom-com? a rom Yes, I'm a rom com queen. Julia Ooh. Roberts. No. Okay. I am from an opera family and speak German. Oof. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Meg Ryan. Nope. I okay. love and live in New Orleans when this came out. New Orleans. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oof, I'm running low on my Oh my god, visit. I said New Orleans. New Orleans. Is that wrong? Yeah. New Orleans? Yeah. Uh boo 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 boo. Um, oh god, what's her <laughs> name? Catherine Heigel! No, okay. I have been a bartender and a cheerleader. Oof. 
Oof. I am bumping up again. Renee Zellweger. Oh, no. I star as a special agent in Ashburn in the heat. Huh? Oh, Sandra Bullock. Oh, Sandra Bullock. you got it. Totally got good it. job. You know, I. Oh. How did you know? Well, because of the How heat. old are you, Toily? Wait a the second. Heat. <laughs> the heat, but then also, you know, I, w- I was born in Austin. Okay. And Sandra Bullock has a cafe in Austin. Oh, okay. And, and uh, so Makes I've been sense. there. Yeah. Sense. But that was not one of the clues. <laughs> no, it didn't help me. <laughs> All right. Wait a second. All right. Let's spin the wheel again. Here we go. I'm so excited. Next one. Next one. Um, well, we're going to do a game. It's called Lateral Thinking. Oh, boy. All right. Um, a I'm racing sure. driver, Raymond Richard, had a terrible accident at Daytona, leaving him in a hospital for six months. Surprisingly, he never considered uh, giving up racing. Why not? Oh, because he passed away. <laughs> no. Uh, it's Richard Petty, right? That's no. No? I don't understand this game. <laughs> you gotta think. You like gotta I think. Think. The, 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 the You gotta think, bro. Because he was tired? <laughs> uh, you're thinking a little bit more, yeah. Something uh, like that. We're looking for one other way. Uh why did he never consider giving up racing? Yeah. Uh, he had a terrible accident. Why did he never consider giving up racing? Because the accident wasn't in racing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he slipped in the bathtub? Yeah, he, it says it's it, horrible. It says he fell down the steps. Like, come on. Down the steps. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to. Are these warn real you. or fake? No, like, these are okay. real. This is All right. Real, this is okay. real trivia. Okay. All right. Um, this game. <laughs> you know, what? I'm. I'm gonna just just pick the next one because I really like this. Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. The next one. Yes. Give it to me. It's called. Uh, I do a game called What Am I? What right? am I? All right. All right. What am I? We often come in pairs. Shoes. No. Okay. We usually show two shades. Show two shades. That one's really tough clue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't even understand the word shades in this context, but. M&M's. Okay, go no. ahead. No, we are multifaceted, but like the number six best. Oh. Okay, come in pairs. Uh-huh. Shades. Uh-huh. Multifaceted. Yep. Like the number six. Three. Mm, what? No. The so, number three. No, not. <laughs> two threes equals six. Yes, you're right. But no, uh, sometimes we prefer symbols over numbers. Huh? computer i am no a computer no a computer no no we throw okay throw us and see how we land huh a coin Ooh, getting closer okay. we make the game yahtzee possible dice oh there it is oh my god do you know what i okay first of all what i have watched your show before and when i'm sitting at home i'm screaming <laughs> going the answer is this you dumb dumb and yeah. i know that people are doing that yeah. right now yeah. anyway <laughs> You know what I just found out about dice? This is how dumb I was. What? I did not know this. This happened on one of my live streams. What? Did you know that the opposite sides of dice equal to seven? They always no. equal to seven. So the no. one, in, listen, the one and the six are on opposite sides. Okay. They equal seven. Okay. The two and the five, they're on opposite Wait sides. Wait a second. Wait a second. Se- I know. Second. You're breaking the internet right now. You're, you're, you're experiencing what I experienced the other night. The three and the four, they're on opposite sides. Seven. I, I need dice. Wait a second. I don't. No, this is true. Okay. I'll, I, I'll just trust the to, uh, toilet paper roll right well, now. you should. Yeah. But also, I looked, it up, I looked up on the internet, right? And I saw this on the internet during one of my live streams. Okay. And I was like, no. And I ran upstairs. I got out the dice that I have in a little dice bag. And I was like. Oh my God, this is correct. <laughs> so there, I gave you trivia back too. Okay, thanks. thanks Wait, what thanks. was the one you didn't, you said, what? we come in many shades. Uh, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that clue. Yeah, I don't get it either. Yeah. All right, next. Well, okay. Um, well, that's my favorite game to play. All right. Uh, we'll play it again. That's fine. I'll, I'll listen. Well, I got another game. It's called okay. Mind Trap. Mind Trap. Mind Trap. Listen, I got, I got a hollow. I'm pretty hollow up top. Yeah. So I'll try. Okay. My best. Here we go. It says, D. Scepter, the famous mind reader, says his job description can be summed up using just three letters of the alphabet. What letters are they? ESP? Wait, 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 How'd you get that? Extra sensors? Wait Extra sensory perception. Yes. That's what ESP means. That's correct. Okay. Well, I'm not an idiot. Wait a second. What? Wait, you're a genius. ESP. Look, I got one. It's I'm a genius. to be a mind trap, not a not a get it right first in one try. Yeah, but look at the two other, three other questions you've asked me already. <laughs> That's true. That I'm totally biffed on. That's Give true. Give me one. Wait, what's dog? biff? Come on. What's biff? Biffed? 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 Yeah, I totally biffed. What, what is this? Uh, the... Listen, I'm bringing back 
tackled? <laughs> I'm older than you, Tom. <laughs> Wait, I'm, Biff, I'm thinking, um, what's that what was that movie with the guy back they went the back future? to? Yeah, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, no. Well, no. Like you say, oh, you really biffed it, you know? Yeah. Like, Okay, I don't know. I'll trust you on I'll just trust you on that one. Oh boy. Yeah. Hashtag biffed. All right. Hashtag biffed. Hashtag biffed. Okay. All right. We'll do a game. It's called five seconds. Uh five second roll, okay? Okay. All right. You have to name three things you use Google Home Alexa for. To turn on your lights, uh -huh. to uh look up definitions of a word, to see what the temperature is outside, okay. to add to your grocery okay, shopping okay, okay, list, okay, okay. To that's, spy that's on a your lot. neighbors. That's to... that's enough. That's okay. was, you win. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay. That's not really that's a game. It's more of like a. Can I tell you my thing. dirty secret? Sure. Those are things I do with my <laughs> Alexa, not my Google Home. So I just started riffing. I was like, I don't know if these things are with Google Home, but I'm gonna say them. Yeah. Play well, music. That's that's pretty good, Toily. My favorite thing is yeah. uh, is you go to your Alexa and you say, Alexa, play songs by Toily T Paper. And then yeah. start playing my music. Right. Yeah. Right. You you're an artist. That's I right. Am an artist. Yes, I forgot. I, I, I have your Christmas album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Where can I get another copy? Because I actually left it in my old apartment. Well, you know, it's yeah. uh the CDs are rare. If okay. you really want a CD, <laughs> they're really rare because nobody <laughs> plays CDs anymore, Dom. Yeah, that's true. Um, but uh they're available on any music, Spotify, Apple okay. Music. Or... Okay. Toilet. Toily tea paper. Toily tea paper. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll they'll know because they're following you. Exactly. They, they see this down there. All right. Yes. Um, name three things a doctor does to you at his or her office. Oof. <laughs> to avoid a lawsuit. <laughs> uh, tongue depressor. Listen to your heart. Checks your weight. Isn't wait, that the wait worst? Wait a second. Wait, they do, have you. Do they do that to you? Yeah. Okay. How how are they? What do you say? Where's your wait? You have a heart? Don't, have, don't worry about it. <laughs> I have a heart. Why do I have a heart? How dare you? Oh my God, look at the face. What is that? How dare? Well, that's my angry face. That's your angry face. What? How dare Wait, you? is angry toily a thing? Can I buy angry toily? Like, it's always like that? Angry toily isn't going to be a thing. You keep saying I don't have a heart. <laughs> You're really going to see. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I totally, totally. There. I love you, buddy. Don't worry. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Name three blues bands or musicians. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Uh, B.B. King. Yes, um, yes, yes. I don't know if the Blues Brothers really count. Is wait, Ray Charles blues? Wait, you listen to, like, regular music? You don't have, like, toilet paper ears? <laughs> <laughs> He's making the face. Wait, you think there's only toilet paper? I can only listen to the bathroom band? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was... The bathroom band. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like BB, BB toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Three, <laughs> John, three blues. Toilet. And see, here we go. Uh, so it's uh, got to be all three, to you know, toilet paper inspired things. There's old stinky Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's Roger and the Mildew Boys. <laughs> And there's uh, the Shampoo Brothers. Those are my three favorites. That's great. How dare you? How dare you? I'm awesome. All right. Let's see. Oh, um, name three misdemeanor crimes. The uh, spray graffiti. Uh-huh. Jaywalking. Mm -hmm. And apparently having classified documents at your house. Wait, what? It's just a misdemeanor. What? Nobody cares. What? what? Nobody what? cares. Yeah, it's a what topical What are you talking about? Thing. It's a topical thing. Don't a topical thing? Where have you been, Dom? Wait, I don't... Dom, you don't wait, know about the news? Wait, what news? What are you oh talking about? God, never mind. We don't... Listen, you don't want to get political. Okay. The moment you get okay. political on the internet, no, everybody's no, no. got a, oh, an I've, opinion. I'm sorry. I thought you, you said topical. I thought you meant topical cream. Oh, I swear to God. No? You don't... You don't... <laughs> Can you get my agent on the phone, please? Could you please just call my agent? Uh, wait, wait. Agnes and I are going to have a discussion. Uh, hmm? Agnes, Agnes. Okay. All right. All right. Totally. Thank you, buddy. Um, Listen, Dom, it was always a pleasure. It yeah. was a pleasure until about two minutes ago. <laughs> and now it's no longer a pleasure. But what? it has circled back what? around what? to being a pleasure. So it has been a pleasure. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. Hey, wait. Um, I, um... Yes. Did, did you hear that? All right. That's did, did you hear call that? My agent. Wait, where are you call going? My agent. Wait, wait. Call wait. my agent. Wait. No. Thank you, Toilet. Totally.